So proportions is different than something you may have heard of called dimensional analysis. Um, and that's something I don't want you to worry about for the T's. That's something you want, you're going to do in geometry and you will ultimately do it in med dosage. But for T's, a good chunk of problems can be solved using proportions. So a quick example here, a child weighs 25 pounds. Given that 2.2 pounds is approximately equal to one kilogram, how much does the child weigh in kilograms? So I'm going to show you two ways, and there's actually uh, four, five, six, seven different ways you could actually set up this proportion. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my conversion, or hopefully at some point, especially when y'all hit med dosage, this is, some, this is a conversion you want to know. 2.2 pounds is approximately one kilogram. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2.2 and I'm going to put it over one. This is just one way to set up a proportion. I'm going to identify what 2.2 stands for. That's going to be our pounds. And then the one kilogram goes down here at the bottom. Now, some of you may not set it up like this, and that is fine. But again, there's multiple ways. So over here on this side, a child weighs 25 pounds. Since I put pounds over here at the top, I want to put pounds over here at the top and look at what the question is saying. How much does the child weigh in kilograms? So we're trying to find kilograms and that is this missing spot. Now I'm not gonna solve this yet. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up a slightly different way. And I want y'all to see, yes, it will look different, but we'll still get the same answer. So suppose I set it up like this, one equals 2.2. Now what in the world did I do here? Well, I'm still using that conversion, 2.2 pounds, one kilogram. I'm setting it up totally different, but let's just recognize now that this number represents kilograms on the left and 2.2 represents pounds on the right. This is totally fine. I know it's completely different than what I did over here, but notice now the 25 pounds, since I have pounds on the right, I want to put the 25 pounds over here on the right hand side. And we're still trying to solve for kilograms. So I'm gonna throw my X down here. Now, assuming that you are somewhat comfortable with proportions, I like to go through this in a speed way because we are all about trying to save time. Now, please don't set up two different proportions on the T's test, but what we can do here, we can cross multiply. And what I want y'all to think about is when we cross multiply here, for example, this example, we're gonna take 2.2 times X. Well, notice we're gonna take 2.2 times X over here on this side as well. If we look at the other cross product, one times 25, it's the same thing, it just looks different. It's all about putting them in the same spot. Either put pounds at the top, kilograms at the bottom, or set up your kilograms on one side and your pounds on the other. Now from here, I did mention that question earlier. What number is going to get multiplied by X? It's gonna be 2.2. Well, that's the number you immediately want to divide by. So cross multiplying one times 25, that's just gonna give us 25, and immediately divide by the number getting multiplied by X. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide by 2.2, and there we have our kilograms. And obviously on the T's, you will want to round that. Let me get my calculator back up. So somewhere around 11.4 kilograms, give or take, depending on what it tells you to round to. But my point here is this. Don't, just because you don't see a proportion set up the way you did it, that doesn't mean that you did it wrong. And that's the point I want to get across here for that one.